Adams is your responder. As Kyle comes forward, I will share with you some information about him. He is a native of Austin, Texas, and is receiving his Bachelor of Science degree in management. Kyle has played a leading role in a number of organizations while at Purdue. He has served as president of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, as a member of Mortar Board, and as captain of the Purdue football team. He has read to second grade classes as part of the Purdue Football Gentle Giants program. During the past two summers, Kyle has traveled on mission trips to Haiti and South Africa and interned with Fairfield Manufacturing. Kyle has been recognized with many football honors, including a Purdue Football Scholarship, a semifinalist for the 2010 William Campbell Trophy, a Werfel Trophy finalist, the Nobel Kitzer Kaiser Award twice, the Pitbull Award Newcomer of the Year, the Durham Brothers Leadership Award twice, Academic All Big Ten Honors twice, Athletic Director's Honor Roll, and has been a member of the All-State AFCA Good Works team. Outside of athletics, he's been honored with the Charles O. McCaughey Leadership Award, a Kiwanis Citizenship Award, the Barbara G. Doster Positive Attitude Award, and he's been the recipient of a Dean Scholarship and was on the Dean's list all semesters. He is a National Merit Scholar. After graduation, Kyle hopes to pursue his dream of playing in the NFL. He also has an interest in working in economic development and social entrepreneurship in developing countries. Interestingly, Kyle's mother, Anne, was the student responder when she graduated from Purdue. Please welcome Kyle Adams. <laughs> Now to help those in abject poverty 
to rise above their circumstances. And this is what brings me ultimate fulfillment. Football was and still is one of my passions, and hopefully after college it will become my job. But now I want to use football as a platform to help others. Our dreams will each be uniquely ours, and who knows where they will take us. But we must follow these dreams, for within each of us is the power to change the world for the better. No one has the same abilities as you, and no one has the same abilities as me. As Mother Teresa said of the ministry helping the impoverished in India, we ourselves feel that what we are doing is just a drop in the ocean. But the ocean would be less because of that missing drop. Whether we are the school teacher who stays late to tutor a student who is struggling, the pharmacist on the front lines developing drugs to fight AIDS and cancer, or the loving parent who takes care of their children, we each have a role to play in this life. And let us seize this life and enjoy every moment. So one last thing, as we go after our dreams, we must never be afraid. In football, when you're afraid to make a mistake, inevitably you will. So the game forces you to be courageous, or you will fail. In the same way, going after your highest goals and aspirations is rarely convenient, and will almost certainly push you out of your comfort zone. But do not let your dreams be swayed by fear of doubt. Irish playwright George Bernard Shaw has a quote that is one of my favorite sayings. It says, you see things and say, why? But I dream things that never were, and I say, why not? We have the power to change the world around us. And I remind myself of this every time I hear someone tell me that no real progress can be made in a country like Haiti, and that my own dreams are unrealistic. So let us never be afraid of stepping out of our comfort zone, because that is when true greatness happens. Thank you, thank you all for your time. I hope your college journey has been incredible. I hope your future life is even more blessed. Now it's time to celebrate, and as always, hail Purdue. <laughs>